great to be here. Thanks for the invitation to come back. I yeah, presented here in 2012. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you today about how Excellus is leveraging MIT technology to change the way that uh, critical infrastructure around the world is being monitored and maintained. I'm the CTO of Excellus. As Leon mentioned, our core technology comes from Professor Tony Patera's group at MIT. So let me get a bit more specific about exactly what, what we do. So on this slide, you can see some examples of large infrastructure. These, these examples all have a few things in common. They're typically deployed for a long period of time, decades at a time. They have major consequences if a failure occurs. And as you can see in this video, they're often subjected to very challenging circumstances, like this uh, oil rig getting pounded by waves. So you can imagine this is a very challenging situation, trying to make these critical pieces of infrastructure operate safely over the decades that they're required to operate. And a key tool that engineers use to, to meet this challenge is computational simulation. So what I mean by that is computational software that allows engineers to simulate these, these systems in full detail and you know, model stresses and strains and assess the structural integrity and things like that. And that's a successful tool, well-established tool, but the major problem when dealing with large infrastructure is this software that people traditionally use doesn't scale to this size of, and complexity of infrastructure. So this is where Excellus comes in. We bring breakthrough simulation technology that really eliminates the scaling issues with tra traditional simulation software that allows us to simulate the largest infrastructure, like the examples I showed on the previous slide, in full detail. So for example, we provide a thousand times speed up typically for large infrastructure without sacrificing accuracy. We are able, as a result, to simulate large assets in full detail, and we actually we leverage modern computational technologies, in particular cloud computing and parallel computing, to ensure that we have the most powerful platform for this type of uh, large-scale analysis. So here I just want to give you a bit of an overview about one of the key ideas that makes this work. So one of the key ideas, as I mentioned, is based on technology from Professor Patero's lab, so there's over a decade of research behind this, but one of the key ideas is essentially divide and conquer. We divide, we decompose these large systems into components. We pre-compute data for each component. Then when an engineer reassembles a large model using this component-based uh, component approach and leveraging the pre-computed data, which in our case is stored on the cloud typically, we're able to get orders of magnitude speed up. So in this case, we're showing a, a stress plot on a, on a ship loader, uh, which is a piece of mining infrastructure. And in this case, we get, uh, you can solve that model in two seconds instead of 30 minutes. So you, you can see the kind of speed up we're talking about. And this is a real game changer for the ways that engineers use this kind of software. They can run thousands of analyses in all different scenarios where before that was basically intractable. So what this enables is what we call the Excellus digital twin. So an, a, a digital twin in our, what we mean by an Excellus digital twin is a fully detailed model of an entire asset. So I'm showing here an example of the type of assets we deal with. This is called an FPSO, which is a gigantic ship from the oil and gas industry, essentially. This example here is actually larger and heavier than the Empire State Building, just to give you an, an idea of the scale we're talking about here. And we create a full model of this entire asset. And a key idea in what we do is we don't just make a model at one point in time. Typically, people make a model as it was originally designed. The key idea, well, one of the key ideas of the digital twin in our, in our, in our approach is to make a model that will track the, tr the physical asset over its lifetime. So every time an inspection is performed, a new damage, corrosion, hull damage, as you can see in those photos, is, is identified in a six monthly or annual inspection, which is required for, you know, in these industries. The idea is this, these updated information gets built into the digital twin. And then and engineers then have access to these updated digital twins. They can run all their analysis, their risk assessments and so on, on an actually updated, calibrated model, uh, which, which in incorporates everything we know about the asset as it currently is, which is obviously, again, a big, a big step forward in terms of how you can uh, do risk assessment for these critical assets. But this brings up the question of how does one update these, these enormous models uh, to incorporate this kind of data. So the way we do it now is involves some amount of manual work. So engineers do shutdowns when they're operating these things. They do shutdowns and they, they take photos of damage. They record it in databases and then we have a team or they have engineers who can then update a digital twin based on that information. That's, that, that's a workable solution. We do that today and it's very much in line with the way engineers operate today. But the, what we're working towards now, a lot of our R&D efforts currently and in our partnerships we're working towards automating that process. So we really want to integrate 
our digital twin with the Internet of Things concepts that you hear a lot about. So that the idea is shown on this slide. You've got an oil rig with uh, sensors embedded in it. These sensors are you know, network uh, enabled, so the data from the sensors is fed up to the cloud where we have our, our servers hosting our digital twin engine. Then the digital twins are updated automatically using various, uh, various methods that you know, is part of the research efforts that we're involved in to do automatic calibration based on this sensor data. Then what you have at the end of the day is a real, you know, is an is a updated digital twin that incorporates the sensor data. So then when engineers run their analysis, they're dealing with the most up-to-date version of a digital twin that, again, is a, a real game changer in the way they can run their assessments of their critical infrastructure. So that's where we're, we're heading. And we're very excited about this, this trend, and it really fits in with a lot of the initiatives that uh, these industries are going after. So I mentioned on the previous slide our, our digital twin platform, which was sitting in the cloud-based bubble in the middle and also residing on the engineer's laptop. So this slide is just to give you a bit more of an overview of what that involves. We have a, a simulation engine, as I mentioned. That's a cloud-based simulation engine, which hosts our, uh, our digital twin solver. We also have a graphical user interface that that I'm showing here in this video. Uh, it allows engineers to assemble these large models, to modify them, to change them, to share them with their colleagues, and to generate reports. That's a, another very important thing. Engineers often need to generate reports which they can show to various managers or, or stakeholders to show any risks in a very clear way. So that, that's all part of our platform. It's deployed. Customers use it today, and uh, it's very, uh, we're very happy with our progress and obviously, obviously adding more features all the time. And this is another slide to address a market need that we've evolved to fit, which is how is it that companies can get a digital twin in practice? A lot of the industries we work with are largely outsourced. So they, you know, for example, oil and gas doesn't typically, companies don't often employ a, a huge number of engineers that can do this modeling in-house. In they often contract that out to engineering firms. So we have a service we call Excellus Integra, which takes as an input any data a company has about a critical asset that they want a digital twin for. That might be photos, it might be drawings, as you see in the middle there, it might be CAD data, whatever they have available. And we have a team that very cost effectively turns that data into a, via a turnkey solution, into a cloud based deployed model, as you can see in the bubble there. This team is hosted, is, is based in Vietnam. So Phong Huyen, the, uh, one of the co founders of Excellus, an MIT alum, moved back to Vietnam and he set up a, a team there which does this very high-end modeling work very cost-effectively, very time-efficiently. So that's one way we engage with, with the large asset owners who have this kind of equipment. And here is just a few examples, again, of the different types of digital twins we've created in our, uh, in our work so far. A lot of mining equipment, pressure vessels, uh, wind turbines, offshore oil and gas infrastructure, and we're adding, we're adding more examples all the time as we engage with new partners. So here I just want to address the market potential of this software. And when we started the company, we were very focused on the simulation software market, which is epitomized by the company Ansys in this slide. So Ansys and similar companies have had very robust growth in recent years. Their revenue has been doubling every few years, so a very healthy market, very good market to be a part of. We're very happy to be engaged in that market. But actually, at the same time, since we started the company, we've observed a really interesting and major trend, which is obviously the rise of the sensor-based approaches and what people call, uh, what some people call Industry 4.0 or the fourth industrial revolution, where manufacturing companies are really embracing the idea of embedding sensors in their products and providing digital models along with the physical asset to their customers or either for internal monitoring of their, of their products. And this is really epitomized by GE Digital, which was founded a few years ago and already has uh, obviously major revenue, and they've really rebranded themselves as an industrial digital company, and many other companies are following the same path. And we're very excited by that because we believe our digital twin concept is ideally suited to that, especially when you're talking about the large assets that I've been showing so far today. So yeah, we're very happy about the position we are in, in terms of the, the market uh, trends that are emerging at the moment. So here's just a quick overview of our market penetration strategy. At the moment, we're really, we're really focused on steps one and two, so working with particular asset owners who have particular models they want a digital twin for. We also engage with the engineering firms, the EPCs that service those asset owners. We're adding more end users all the time as we work with new companies. And once we've established ourselves in our current verticals that I've been showing so far, mining, oil and gas, uh, these kinds of things, we want to move to other verticals, which is definitely on our development plan. So obvious ones would be aerospace and power systems, you know, gas turbines and so on. 
And that brings me to the final slide. I just want to close with our vision. So our vision is that all critical assets around the world, in order to operate, operate safely over long periods of time, in, in, often in, uh, in response to challenging circumstances, all assets, in our view, should have a digital twin. And we want to be the company that makes that happen. And just as a final note, we are actually in a fundraising, uh, organizing fundraising at the moment. So if anyone's interested to talk more with me about that afterwards, please find me. Thanks very much.